Now, you had a lot of videos that did really well that was based on your, you know, financial philosophies. Mm -hmm. One of the big videos was 20 Rules of Money. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is based on doubling your money. Mm -hmm. Explain that. Everything to me is about doubling your money. You know, when, when, um, when I think about even being a kid, you know, and I had 10 bucks, I'm like, how can I double this to 20 bucks? You got 20, how can I double it to 40? Even back in the days when I played blackjack, everything was about doubling. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, casino will figure you out. If you go in with like $5,000, you bet the first time 20 bucks, you lose, you bet, you know, 40 bucks, you lose, you bet 80 bucks, you lose, you bet 160, you lose, you bet 320, you lose, you bet 640. Unless if you're gonna lose 10 hands in a row, which has happened to me before, if you're not gonna lose 10 hands in a row, you're typically, the, the casino is gonna realize very quickly what you're doing. And some people are for that philosophy, some people are not, but everything's about doubling. So when I have money and I'm sitting there with investments to make, you know, what can I do to figure out how to double this money? If I do 6% return, it's gonna take me 12 years to double it. If I do 12% return, it's gonna take me six years to double it. If I do 24%, uh, 4%, three years to double it. Then I think about guys like Musk who, when he sold PayPal, his share was a hundred and uh, uh, eighty million bucks or so, 170 million bucks or so. He took a hundred million dollars, and I think he put it in solar. Uh, he put it on uh, uh, SpaceX. He yeah. put seventy million into Tesla, and he put ten, 10 million in solar. Mm -hmm. And then he turned that into his two hundred forty billion dollars, three hundred billion dollars. And he took that money and he bought Twitter for forty four billion. And now it's whatever it's worth, but he's going to turn that into a financial company and. That'll be another, you know, whatever, trillion dollar company. So one of the best advice Goldman Sachs, uh, uh, my money manager gave me when I sat down with him, I said, listen, so what's this going to give me if we invest into this fund with BlackRock? He says, uh, it's a very good return. You're probably going to make it around 6 to 8%. I said, 6 to 8%? Hmm. He said, yeah. I said, how about this thing here? It's a very good rate of return, 5 to 6%. And then he pauses and he says the best thing to me. He says, Pat, I just want to let you know. We don't have any investment that's going to give you better rate of return than companies you're operating. Right. You just have to know that. Yeah. So for me, everything became about equity and building value. When I built the insurance company, I was never the highest paid guy in the company. I didn't pay myself for years. And even when I did, I was paying myself $200,000 salary. Mm -hmm. And while guys I'm paying 200 grand a month, I'm making $200,000 per year. By Tim and right now, by Tim and Holdings got eight companies underneath it. And our consulting company is blowing up. But David Consulting is on fire with what it's doing. Our app, Manect, is on fire. We have 100,000 downloads now on the app, Manect. And that's growing. And Manect, this whole concept with the app is, you know, years ago, I'm talking to my lawyer for seven minutes. He bills me for 30 minutes. I said, I had a seven-minute conversation with you. Why am I paying you for 30 minutes? He said, well, minutes roll up. So not to 30 minutes. <laughs> he said, I said, I want to pay you by the minute. He says, no lawyer charged by the minute. I said, dude, I'm not going to pay you this. He said, I can't do anything. That's the bill. So I said, one day I want to start a company. I can pay people by the minute. So Manect, you know how people DM you and you don't have time to get back to them? On Manect, they pay you to get a respond back on DM. And they pay you to get a video respond back. Or they pay you by the minute to have a 15-minute call. Hey, Vlad, I want to start a YouTube channel. And how do I get my YouTube channel to a million subs? And what's a 30-minute call worth with you? A thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars. Yeah. On Manek, they they'll pay you for it. A, a, around your schedule, you make eighty percent, and Manek keeps twenty percent. Nice. So that app has taken off. Influencers love it. Experts love it. Consultants love it, and uh, it's worked out very well. So, uh, for me, maybe different than other people, I want to find ways to be involved in a place where it's increasing value and equity. So, but everything with money, if you can look at ways to maximize your money and double it. You come from a different mindset. Last week, we're having a meeting. And then I'll turn it back over to you. I'm having a meeting with my guys. My lawyer's there. Tom is there. These guys are there. They're pitching me a new company for us to invest in. They pitch me this company. I'm like, hey, Pat, what if we go compete with boxing? This guy's got this boxing idea with these people that are involved. They're pretty big names. Real credible names, by the way. Pat, we should invest and we should buy 25%. We should do this and you should promote it. And what if we do this? I said, first of all, who am I competing with? If I'm doing boxing, who's my enemy? And they start writing down. Um, well, maybe Bob Aaron, maybe Oscar De La Hoya, mm -hmm. maybe Dana White. I said, I don't want these guys as enemies. What am I doing? I said, number two, how big is this thing gonna be? A hundred million dollars? Is that what we're doing? I said, I'm not interested in that. I said, the only thing I'm interested in at this phase of my life 
is companies that have a B in front of them. Mm. Because to do what we want, when when I offered Tucker Carlson $100 million to come to Valuetainment, and I made this offer May of this year, May uh, when- You fu- offered Tucker $100 million. I offered Tucker $100 million on the Megyn Kelly show. It went, vi- the tweet got 20 plus million uh, views on, on Twitter. And I said, 100 million, five years, equity and value team and president position and creative and all this other stuff. And he turned me down. He went to Twitter, right? He went to Twitter. Yeah. You know what he told me that day? Elon's retweet is worth more than my $100 million. You know when I realized that day? I'm broke. <laughs> I, well, compared I'm, to Elon, yeah, we're all broke. <laughs> but, but the point is, that's when I realized, if you want to play in a media company, you have to have a better argument, and we don't have it right now. Hmm. And so our plan is to be able to compete in the marketplace in that area. But the mindset, depending on how big you're thinking, whether you're smaller, getting started, or you're bigger, you should have your guaranteed stuff. You should have your long-term stuff. Like I've been putting um, $100 is how I started with a mutual fund 25 years ago, 24 years ago. Everybody should start off with something like that and don't even think about it. And I would raise it to $200, $500, $1,000, $2,000. Oh my God, I got a couple million dollars in this account. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So you ought to have those types of things that you're putting money away and all of a sudden they fill up. But then at the same time, you also have to be thinking about some of the home runs and the grand slams. Yeah. 